Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival episode. Today's episode, we're going to be um, going over the team comps or suggested team comps for a particular content. And by the way, I won't be using all of the factions because I haven't playtested um, the others yet uh, versus all of the team comps. But I will be starting with a few so this is not um this is going to be a part one so um look forward to the part two for the team comps we will start with um the first team comp that i have which is going to be used in pvp pvp um what i mean is going to be arena so arena this is going to be used in novice arena and also going to be used in the uh campaign so Okay, so, so far I have been using this team for the campaign. The reasons why I've been using this is more on um, Abigail and Jones in the front. They are tanks and uh, they, they can actually do delays, do a little bit of damage. And the uh, Astra is there to bring them back. That is actually the trick. And uh, also Murray is there. Because he is doing, he, he he does defense while putting traps in front, and he does pick out um, um with a single shot uh those um and and actually it's high damage as well, single shot those who are vulnerable and concentrates damage usually in one target, and uh, Lita is there because of the buff she gives. Lita's buffs are very good um, in terms of dealing high damage. So let's take a look at this team. So again, I'll show you guys this in the campaign and also in PvP. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the tanks will do their do you know w w will do their work. As you can see there, also Murray is is picking off what is coming near the stragglers from the back. So that is why I like him and um, the it's really okay if Abigail and Jones will be overwhelmed because again they will be resurrected by Astra um, once they both die. So again this is um, the team that I think have given me the best odds of winning. So as you can see there um, ov obviously gears play a big part also leveling up. But again, the team comp, the synergy is going to be perfect for me, okay, for campaign. So let's uh, take a look at them in arena. So we're going to do battle. Let's do, let's do near to mine. So let's do this one. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much the same as um, the other one. Let's just, uh, can I swap this? Uh, no. So let's uh, move on with this battle. Let's see how it goes. So again, the same concept because this is going to be a five on five. This is going to be a quick, quick battle. And when when one dies and is resurrected, then you can actually do it all over again. Um, Abigail is actually the best uh, pair with Astra in terms of tanks because she is a berserker and the damage that she deals is tremendous. Um, that she can really deal good damage as her HP goes down. So as you can see there, um, the only nuisance is going to be Ellen. So again, um, for me, well balanced in terms of PvP. This lineup is actually uh, what I'm using in Skyscraper. What I mean with Skyscraper is this one. Um, the middle one. So the lineup is going to be composed of. Okay, so for this lineup, um, let's change this one. So this is usually my lineup. Um, sometimes I do use Lita in this lineup, but this is actually my main because again, for skyscraper, um, as you're familiar with, it's going to be three waves, so you're gonna need healing. Um, sometimes if uh, if you cannot really, you know. Um, take care of the first wave um, but if you can take care of the first wave Lita is actually good to go with this team because Lita gives additional damage so let's try that that lineup first the one that I showed you so assuming that the first wave is going to be overwhelming and you need healing 
um, aside from being resurrected for the front line that you have there. So let's try this one out. Um, PvP, is, uh, my skyscraper team is going to be much pretty flexible because again, um, it would really depend on the first wave that you encounter. If you if you think that the first wave is going to be um, easy, like for example that one, um, they survived it, um, both Jones and Abigail, then usually um that lineup with uh with lita um swap for for nadim is actually good already but this one this is really built for your skyscraper because this will really take you to um what they call this the wave three as you can see there it's okay if they die right now or they die in wave three because they will be resurrected again so it's important also to keep keep uh what rock alive <laughs> She's in the front. I don't know why. So again, healing and healing. So this is the this is you're going to be your wave three. So this is all out already. Um, so as you can see there, um, both uh, Jones and Abigail might die. Uh, Jones goes first, but he's resurrected. Then Abigail, um, Rock is actually dead. So there you go. So again, um, this is actually my, re my my toughest team in terms of skyscraper. So you may actually use this one. And the other team that we're going to be discussing is going to be for Zombie Express. As for Zombie Express, um, what I'm after this is doing maximum damage because I could really survive until the time runs out already. So doing maximum damage is what I'm after. So this is actually the lineup that I have. So um, Tyler is going to be replacing Jones for extra damage. Abigail is still here. Murray is still here. Um, you have here Rock as well. And you have Lita here. So again, this team is built for maximum and quick damage for your um, Zombie Express. Because again, this stage is you have to deal a lot of damage quick. Very quick damage. So high score is uh, was at five million uh five million six hundred thousand ninety six. So I'm not sure if I could beat it. Usually with this lineup, um, um, I usually go close to that. I still need to level up some of them here to to you know to have a more um a, a higher score. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to be a slow slow start. So we are at the one minute, nearing one minute, and we're near, and we're at one million as well. So this is going to be quick now because um, the points that um, the, the further you go in the stage, the higher the points of the zombie. So again, there are overkill bonuses. There, I think there's another bonus. I forgot what it is. So you have to more or less do a lot of overkill. To get those bonuses and also headshot bonus as well as another hundred thousand so i'm at nearing four hopefully we could go near 5.6 that is four million hurry up guys need one million more or we could go beyond that so we are at five i don't think i'm going over that so that Five point yeah, I'm going over it. Five point seven. This team is solid as is. Um, I don't want to think over this team already. So, um, I just have to level up um some of my heroes there, change gears as well. And uh, what else? So, we're going to go to um PVP Rumble or a, a rage, raging Rumble. So, uh, right now for um. For Arena Rumble, you are, you know, you have to take three teams uh, for you to use. So what I do is, the reason why I built these teams is because for each stage, there should be a specialization. Not just, not just in terms of uh, putting any hero there, any team there. So what I do is, I usually bring my main team here. So as you can see, this is my main team. If you go to my second squad... This is a bit odd because 
I only have the, I actually um, also tried to try to avail of the buffs for the faction bonuses. So what I do is I still have a you know a mix of factions here. Um, what I do specifically on the second team is provide shield and provide healing. Because again, you'll have to make sure that the first team survives well, well into you know the battle and also provide shield for them to stay along. So the rest of these are just additional um, damages. So you have uh, you have also one one tank here, so that you could you know add additional attacks. But more or less, these are just additional damages. So the key here is the healing and the shield. The next squad that I'm bringing is the last one, which is the sweeper. So again, more damage here. Basically, more damage just to sweep. Um, the rest and to do a lot of damage so let's uh take a look at this um this three teams in combat and let's see how they do so more or less i don't have um britney uh, britney is one of one of the heroes that i haven't leveled up yet so that that's why i haven't brought her that much so as you can see astra there you go. So reinforcements are already in. Not yet. There you go. So as the reinforcements come in, you have your healing. Still, you have your shields and you, you still have your resurrection. I still have... I still have Astra here. So basically, the, the, the one that is crucial is your first and second team. First is your main team. Then second is your reinforcement team. Healing shields. Um, if you want to put Astra in the in the second team, it's good. But it she he actually fits well with the first team. But that is it. So again, um, try to try to make sure that your your second team is full of reinforcements. Try trying to put all your units um, the chance to stay alive. Okay, so that is it, guys. So, so far, very um, kind of long video. So, hopefully, you guys um, um, find this helpful. And for those who have stuck this far, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel because this helps me a lot. And also, guys, um, don't forget to click the bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you very much. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here. Happy weekend, guys.